Hey, I'm Trina Martika, and guess what? Guess what the time of year it is? It's spring! So, you know what that means. Spring is all about allergy season. So, you're gonna end up having allergies, hay fever, there's gonna be pollen coming from the trees and the flowers, and guess what happens? You're gonna start to get irritated, stuffy, you're gonna have, you know, itchy eyes, sneezing, congested, and it happens to me every year. Throughout, usually throughout the year, certain times of the year it's worse, especially I would say like February, March, April, that's when it gets really bad. So I've decided to talk to you a little bit about some of the things that you can do to help you with your allergies. So number one is, and I've spoken about this before, these are the Allegra Magic Globes. These are great. You can get them on Amazon. They are worth it. I use them in my morning routine, specifically when I wake up in the morning to help um, combat you know, dark circles and puffy eyes, but I find that when you have like really bad allergies, these are great. You just rub them under the eyes and it helps to soothe. This is perfect. You can put it all over your face. I, I tend to do it all over my face in the mornings, but during allergy season, especially if I'm having an episode, I'll just focus strictly on the eyes. So I'll just go around here, I'll go around the tops. Sometimes I'll just leave them on there for a bit and let it soothe. And these are great, trust me when I tell you, it's a great investment for anybody who has allergies. All right, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so if you find that you're congested and your nose is blocked, the best thing for you to do is to probably get some sort of nasal spray. I'm not a fan of nasal sprays, but if I'm like going through hell, I'll use it. So this one is Abamaze. And the thing is, I had to get this as a prescription about, I would say, maybe nine months ago, and it was because I was just going insane. But the honest truth is you can get them from any pharmacy, Walmart, Target, any of the pharmacies in your area will carry any kind of nasal, nasal spray, and this will work for you as well. So what you wanna do is you want to start with a tissue, and you wanna blow your nose, and even if nothing is coming out of your nose, it doesn't matter, the point is you still wanna blow, and you'll find that that will help to relieve a little bit of pressure in the nostrils. And then what you're gonna do is you are going to take off the cap and you're gonna press the side, do press one of your, um, of the nostrils and just like kind of inhale and squeeze and it'll go up and then you do on the other side, same thing, squeeze, inhale and, go, and it will go up. So you're gonna do this and you will find that it will help to alleviate, like I said, the pressure in the nostrils and it will also stop the, um, the congestion from building up right here. So that's number two. Number three is doTERRA's Breathe Vapor Stick. Now you don't have to use doTERRA, right? You don't have to use it, you can use Vapor Rub. The reason why I like this is because, oh my God, the smell is amazing. Even if I'm starting to sneeze and I find that like up here is a little stuffy, if I don't wanna use the nasal spray, I can just use this and I can smell it. The smell is so good. Also, you can like put it on the neck, on the chest, sometimes rubbing it on the temples as well. Like I said, the smell is amazing. Okay, all right, now, for those of you who get like really bad itchy eyes, I would say try to find some sort of allergy eye relief. I tend to use Nafcon A. I've been using this for a few years now and I find that it works. You just wanna you know, tilt your head back and put one drop in each eye and, you'll, and also just hold your head back for a bit and close the eyes and you'll get that allergy relief just for you know a couple of hours. I find that this is not something that I have to reapply often, but if you do, I would say maybe two, three times a day and just try not to put your hands in your eyes. I know that is such a difficult task because you know people who have allergies are constantly rubbing, but try, try, try very hard not to put your hands in your eyes. If you have to do something with it, just make sure that you're rubbing your hand, uh, that you wash your hands first. And also you could even go to the bathroom and just kind of splash some water on your eyes instead of putting your fingers in your eyes. So like I said, 
see if you can find some sort of allergy relief and you can get this at any pharmacy. All right. Now, if things get really bad and you are having one of those episodes and you're like, oh my God, I have got to take something and you're, maybe your skin is itching because some people's allergies are just different than others. You know, some of us have it really bad. I would say get yourself an antihistamine. Now, I like these. This is the tablet. I'll show you what it looks like. They're really small and they're perfect. Anybody can take them. They look like this. Or if you're at home, I mean, I like the liquid because it gets into your bloodstream a little faster, gets into your body a little faster. It's just, of course, you don't want to be walking around with a big bottle. But this is it here. And you just want to take a teaspoon or two teaspoons of this. Well, adults is up to two teaspoons. And I find this works really well. Don't take it if you know that you're going to be driving or you're going to be going out somewhere because it does tend to make you a little drowsy. So, of course, if you don't have histol in your area, you would find something that's equivalent, just making sure that it is an antihistamine that helps you with specifically with hay fever and, you know, during allergy season. So the last thing I want to talk to you about is a diffuser. I would say it's probably the best investment. I tend to use it at night. It helps me to fall asleep. This is great during allergy season, but I tend to use it throughout the year anyway. So for those of you who have allergies, the reason why you want to use an oil diffuser is because it helps with so many different ways. It's about like improving your sleep. It can even help with like stress, anxiety, um, body and mind relaxation. There's so many other things. Even using essential oils in it can help boost, boost your immune system. And also it helps sometimes depending on where you are, it can repel insects and eliminates order, odors. And I would say overall improves your respiratory system, your respiratory health. So for those of you who have allergies, I would say the best oils for you to use are eucalyptus, lavender, and lemon. Now I don't use eucalyptus, but I'm probably gonna get that soon. Right now I use lavender or lemon. These are the two that I have. Let me bring them a little closer, lavender lemon. So what you want to do is I'm just going to quickly show you because it looks like this. You just want to put some water in there. I already have it plugged in, but I'm going to unplug it just so I can show you what I'm doing. So you want to put water in there. And then we're going to put anywhere between 5 and 10 drops. Alright, so that's 7 drops that went in there. You're going to go ahead and cover it. There you are. Then you're going to plug it in, and as you can see, it starts to light up, and you can see the steam coming through, and this is beautiful. I love this. I use this all the time. So like I said, these are the remedies that I use for when I'm having, you know, when I'm dealing with my allergies, or especially if... You know, I'm feeling congested and eyes are puffy and I'm itching. These are great. So I just wanted to show you what are some of the things that you can use for right now during springtime. Those of you who are dealing with your hay fever and your allergies and you just need some relief. These are the remedies that I use. So I just wanted to share that with you. All right. Comment. Let me know what you think. Give this a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I will see you on the next one. Trina Martika here. Bye.